hey guys hey welcome back to the channel welcome to another video your girl jamada here welcome y'all oh y'all give me a moment let me get situated i think like a piece of hair went into my lash and if i don't get it out it's gonna ruin this video welcome back to another video y'all um today guys i want us to talk about navy federal Guys, this is one of my favorite banks, okay? One of my favorite credit unions. And disclaimer, okay? My, what do I want to say? My most active checking account is with Navy Federal, okay? I do a lot of trans, my everyday transaction, okay? Um, all my personal stuff, um, the majority of it goes through um, my Navy Federal checking. So that's disclaimer, okay? So I might be a little biased here, but we're gonna talk about Navy Federal. We're gonna cover a to topic concerning Navy Federal. Before I get into the video, guys, you know what I always say, okay? I'm your girl, Jamade. This is the channel where we talk about business credit, we talk about personal credit, we talk about real estate and investing on this channel. Welcome. All right, y'all. So let's talk about the internal score that Navy Federal um, gives all of its customers okay if you are clients of navy federal if you have a check-ins or savings um whatever there's an internal score just how you have a personal credit score navy federal rates all of their customers okay yes they do and that score ranges from 100 to 450 guys okay um if you're not a member of Navy Federal, guys, it's it's not a big deal. You can certainly become a member of Navy Federal if you have any connection um, with the military, be it, you know, any family member, guys, okay? Whether it's, it's a distant cousin or whatever. Um, if they've served in our military, guys, you can call Navy Federal and get in that way and get um, membership um, into the credit union that way, okay? Also, you can get membership through a friend um, as well, okay? You can do that. You can get in through a friend, okay? If you guys live in the same household or so, you can get um, into Navy Federal that way, guys. So, um, yeah, if you don't have Navy Federal, find a way to get into Navy Federal because they have some really amazing um, financial products, okay? Disclaimer, I'm not your financial advisor, guys. My channel is solely for educational and entertainment purposes, okay? All right, disclaimer, done. So the internal credit score, guys, 100 to 450, okay? So now, guys, what are they looking at, okay? If, if your score is at a 100 um, with Navy Federal, maybe they don't know much about you, you're a new customer, you don't have a great credit score, um, you know, they don't know much about you or your your let's say you apply for one of their cars they pull your your credit and you know it's really terrible so that could like you know drop your internal score with them now guys so if you're looking to build your internal score with navy federal there are several components that you need to look at um you, you always got to think like what does the bank want okay what do they want from me as a customer or as a client um, so that they can look at me in a favorable light, okay? They're gonna be like, oh, I like Susie. Susie knows what she's doing with her finances. We're gonna um, increase her internal score. We're gonna give her that 450. Now, guys, what are some of the things that they're looking at, okay? You have to build a relationship with them, okay? You Like me, I have a, 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 a personal check-in with them, guys. I also have a business check-in with Navy Federal, okay? I have a personal savings with Navy Federal. I also have um, a business saving, okay? I have a, the regular savings and I also have um, a money market account with them as well, guys. I also have credit cards with Navy Federal, guys, okay? Um, so all of those things, guys, will increase your score. And if you're paying on time, um, every time, you know, you don't have any lates or anything like that, guys, it helps to increase your internal score. Another thing too, that's really simple, but it's a big deal um, when it comes to banks, guys, is direct deposits. 
direct deposits, okay? They want to make sure that money is so clockwork, okay? As you're working, that money is going to be depositing into um, that check-ins account, that savings account, you know? And also, when you put your um, credit, you know, or your loans on autopilot, guys, that will also boost your internal score with Navy Federal. And it will also help your personal, um, your FICO score as well. But guys, they really like direct deposits. They love direct deposits. You hear me? So that will help to increase your, your internal score with Navy Federal if you're shooting for that perfect 450, guys. Um, another thing also is credit cards, okay? Navy Federal has some great credit cards. If you have bad credit, you're looking to rebuild, um, they have some really good secure credit cards and they give good limits, okay? So let's say, you know, you're kind of struggling as far as your credit score is concerned, your credit profile doesn't look so good, guys. You can take advantage of their secure credit cards. That's going to help your internal score with Navy Federal, guys. Um, um, you can do the secure credit card. Also, guys, if, if you have decent to good credit, shoot for their flagship card, okay? Their flagship card is like their premier card, okay? So shoot for that also. And then, like I said, keep in the back of your mind, guys. Yes, they are known for giving large limits, but don't get carried away with debt, okay? It's easy to get carried away when, when let's say, you've been used to having credit limits at 500 or 1,000 or 2,000, and then Navy Federal gives you like 7K or 12K, you know? You want to go balling out of control. Don't do that, okay? Practice some discipline because that shit will come to bite you in your ass. Trust me, okay? So you got to practice discipline um, when you see those large limits. So that helps, okay? With your internal credit score with Navy Federal, guys. Sometimes people ask me this question like, how can I find my internal credit score? Because it's not easily accessible okay so there's several ways you can go about finding out your internal credit score with navy federal guys okay when you apply for credit okay any type of credit whether it's a mortgage if if it's a um a loan um you know if it's a credit card guys um when they send you that letter whether you've been denied or accepted you know they've granted you credit or they've denied you credit, that letter you're going to get in the mail, guys, it is going to have your internal credit score on there, okay? Um, it's going to have your FICO score on there because by law, they're get, they have to give you that, okay? They have to give you that in information telling you why you were denied or, you know, why they granted you credit or so. They have to send you um, the letter in the mail. So when they send you that letter in the mail, guys, it's going to have your FICO score on there and it's also going to have your Navy Federal internal score on there as well. So that's one way you can find out your internal score with Navy Federal. Another way you can find out, guys, um, like I said, if you're a member and you know you have their credit products, you I would recommend that you get the app, okay? Because I have um, my personal check-ins with them. So I have the app, right, where I can see all of my um, um, accounts with them. You know, my credit card, everything, it's all linked in the app. So I can easily send a message and request through the app for my um, internal score that way. Or I could call them also. So those are the ways you can find out your internal score, okay? Sometimes they might tell you, hey, we don't have an internal score for you. So if you're like a new customer or a new client or you don't have a lot of accounts or, you know, you don't have a strong relationship with them, okay? Basically, that's all that means, okay? How many accounts do you have with them? Are you, you know, making direct deposits? Guys, are you making on-time payments for those, those credit products? That's that would determine your relationship with the bank. That would determine your internal score um, with Navy Federal, guys. So basically, that's it in a nutshell when it concerns um, your internal score with Navy Federal, guys. Let me know. I know a lot of people love Navy, Navy Federal, so let me know in the comment section. 
Are you a Navy Federal customer, okay? Do you know your internal score? Now that you've watched this video, I will encourage you to find out what your internal credit score is with Navy Federal. Um, and take some of these tips, guys, and apply it, okay? So that you can shoot for that 450, okay? You don't wanna be at that 100, you wanna be at that 450. And if you're at that 450, chances are you have A1 credit anyway because you know how to handle your finances, you know how to handle uh, credit, okay? So that does it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I, I, you guys are catching on. I see people dropping the emoji and stuff like that. Um, drop me an emoji, okay? Drop me the bouquet of flowers. Uh, drop me that bag of money. Drop me that bag of money in the comment section. I like to see who makes it to the end of my videos, okay? Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I wish you all the best in all of your endeavors. I will catch you on the next video. Bye!